These two together? Game over. <laughs>
I don't need a really thick moisturizer. I prefer lightweight or emulsion type moisturizers for my skin anyway. So for you, if you're dry, I would think that this is still enough, but you maybe wanna layer it with an oil or another cream on top of it. If you wanna like sandwich method it, like I do whenever I use my retinols. But at the end of the day, I feel like this is very hydrating, especially for me and my skin. So now we know what moisturizes. Let's talk about the plant extracts. This is like the fun part of this video for me because I learned so much uh, when I researched this product. I didn't know about half of these botanical extracts. Y'all know I love to talk about skincare in like a casual way. So I'm gonna try to like be not super scientific about this, but I just love it. So the first extract we're gonna talk about is Enantia Chlorantha Bark Extract. Sorry, I have to look down at my notes. This extract has astringent properties. So that's really gonna help you guys that have a little bit of larger pores. We all know that nothing actually shrinks your pores. The best thing you can do is to use really good BHAs to kind of cleanse out those pores. And over time, they won't be as like gaping and large. You just can't actually say that something like shrinks your pores unless you go get a laser done. But anyway, this extract helps with tightening the pores just because it keeps everything a little like matte. And that kind of makes your pores look like they're less large. It also helps with oiliness and shine and it mattifies. So this makes sense for to be ingredient for someone with oily skin. Um, and I really love this extract because when paired with oleanic acid, which is a little lower on the ingredient list, it is in there. Those two work really well together to keep the skin matte. So if you're worried about your skin looking super glowy throughout the day, which I really love, uh, <laughs> for you, you might not want that. This is a really nice ingredient. So if you're looking for ingredients that do that, keep an eye out for your Enantia Chlorantha Bark Extract. So that oleanic acid, that's a little lower on the ingredient list, but like I said, it works really well when paired with the other extract. I'm not gonna say these over and over because I'm gonna trip over my words and feel stupid. But oleanic acid is also found in olive, uh, in olive leaves. It's an antioxidant, but it's also antimicrobial, which is really great for you if you're acne prone because you don't want to be rubbing your hands all over your face and spreading that bacteria from open comedones and acne. So having this antimicrobial uh, ingredient that is also like, it helps fight blemishes and it helps keep your skin a little bit more calm. It can also help reduce redness. Uh, that's a really nice pair to the other plant extracts in here that are gonna keep your skin matte and soothed. The next active is tannic acid or tannins. Tannins are polyphenols that are antioxidant rich. So this is another ingredient that's gonna help your skin fight those free radicals and protect your skin. And by protect, I mean it kind of helps protect your skin's collagen production. So if you are worried about anti-aging in the future, which those of us nearing 30, are usually worried about anti-aging. Uh, whenever I see anything that mentions collagen, it's a big old check mark for me. Up next is Alteromonas Ferment Extract. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm doing my best here. This is a polysaccharide that is also hydrophilic. So anything hydrophilic is gonna be water binding. So it's gonna be moisturizing for your skin. And it's also repairing. Uh, this comes from seawater and a lot of Biologique Recherche ingredients contain um, sea ingredients like sea kelp and seaweed. Uh, I've talked about Laminaria digitata, which is another really good ingredient that's found in the Oligo Proteins Marine Serum. So I know from other products that they carry, uh, the products that they have that have the sea-based ingredients like this usually tend to help with your skin's like shine and brightness as well. And when I researched this ingredient, it does say that it repairs your skin. So whenever your skin's repaired, it kind of looks luminous because it's really healthy. And another flavonoid, which is rich in antioxidants is the Sambucus nigra, also known as elderberry. Elderberry is in a lot of skincare ingredients and a lot, it's really popular like to ingest as well. So antioxidant rich, another one that's gonna help your skin heal and protect it from the free radicals. Next ingredient is one that I think works really well for this product. Uh, uh, this is the Terminalia Catapa extract. This is an anti-inflammation, helps with allergic reactions, and helps with hyperpigmentation extract. Uh, this is rich in antioxidants and can even help with uh, anti-aging of the skin. When I researched this, it also said that it has been found to help with 
the reduction of freckles. So I don't think that just using this alone is gonna make your freckles fade, but just an interesting little tidbit that I learned while looking it up. So again, here we are, a little bit of anti-aging, anti-inflammation, and hyperpigmentation. And lastly, we have another polyphenol, antioxidant rich. This is orthosiphon extract, which is also known as Java tea leaf. But what I found really interesting whenever I uh, was researching this one is that it helps uh, reduce the production of your natural squalene, which contributes to the sebum, the oil in your skin. So the ingredients in this whole moisturizer do have squalane in it. So it's gonna moisturize your skin, but it's also gonna make your skin kind of like push back against the squalene, which makes you oily. So I hope I didn't lose you there with all those ingredients, but ultimately this is a moisturizing, mattifying, antioxidant rich, hydrophilic, really great moisturizer. It just does a lot, it does everything. I think this is uh, one of the best moisturizers I've ever tried from Beelie's Du Crochage. And before I bought it, I didn't understand why the price tag was a little heavy. Now that I've done my research, I see how many actives and how many beautiful botanical extracts are in this product that are truly there to help my oily, acneic, sensitive skin just kind of calm down, just like take a minute, you know what I mean? So now we know the ingredients and what it does. Uh, I wanna talk about how I use it. So ultimately, whenever I first started using it, it was just my solo dolo moisturizer in the morning and I really wasn't mixing it or layering it with anything because when I pick up something new, I don't wanna mix it too much because I wanna know alone as a solo product, is it worth the money? Yes. But along the way, I have figured out what it works really well with and what it does not work well with. So let's talk about those now. My absolute favorite pairing with the Biosensible SR is the Serum Placenta. This is the original Serum Placenta. This will be reformulated eventually to be vegan. The Creme Placenta has already been reformulated. Mm. I don't love it, um, but I hope that I love the reformulation of the serum. So the way that I like to pair these together is at nighttime, I usually reach for placenta because your skin naturally heals at night. So I feel like when you use placenta at night, it just kind of boosts all those healing actions that your skin's doing naturally. So after cleansing and toning, what I'll do is I'll do like two or three drops of this and half a pump of this in my in the palm of my hand. I'll rub it together and it will create kind of like a thick serum consistency. And I kind of like just rub it all over my face. And I use that almost as a healing treatment step before my moisturizer. So in that moment, I don't use this as a moisturizer. I kind of take all those antioxidant healing, calming benefits that this does, you know, aside from hydrating and I mix it with the placenta. And I'm tell you, I will tell you, this is, it's just a good combo. It's a really great skin cocktail. Um, it doesn't pill, it soaks right into the skin. It doesn't leave any filmy residue or anything. And whenever you layer your moisturizer on top of it, done. You, you just got it for the rest of the night. And I usually do that when my skin's breaking out and acneic and irritated. It also layers really great with uh, Creme Hydrovites. This is, to me, the most basic beige cream. It's just moisturizing. Uh, there is a whole lot of great ingredients in here, but primarily it's a hydrator, and these do layer really well. I don't think you need both, but if you're really dry and you want all the properties and benefits of the moisturizer, but just this alone isn't enough for you, it does layer really well with the Creme Hydrovites. This is a super thick moisturizer not like this at all. Uh, I have talked about this before in a previous video, so if you are unsure on like the ingredients of this, check that out. But they do layer really well together if you just want an extra step of hydration. What it does not layer well with is Creme Dermopurifiant. So this is the new formula, and it is not like the original formula at all. I have used quite a bit of it, but you can see that it's a lot more of like a gel consistency, and I think that's the problem. Whenever I have used these two together in the daytime, it pills. It just does not work. So I avoid layering these, which is a shame because I really like both of these for the morning time, but they just don't really play well together for my skin. I have tried mixing it in my palm and using them both instead of layering one on top of the other as well. And they just don't play well. I don't, I don't really know. I think it's a consistency issue uh, because this is more like 
a gel and this is more like a an emulsion it's not so much a gel as it is a creamy treatment so i would keep that in mind if you're wanting to try this and like mix it with other products but another treatment that it works really well with is creme pigment 400 y'all know that i love this um i originally thought this wasn't worth the money but i was an idiot and i love this it just smells so fresh there's no fragrance in here or anything it's just got something in it that makes it smell really fresh anyway these layer beautifully i usually take like a little scoop and put a little bit of this um the creme pigment 400 in the palm of my hand and do a full pump of the biosensible rub them together and just use them at once because i don't have to layer it if i don't want to it makes your skin so glowy so moisturized just you are ready for the day whenever you use these in the morning together i prefer to use these in the morning especially creme pigment 400 i want to utilize that glow i want everyone to see how glowy my skin is i'm not trying to sleep on something that makes my skin look like it's beaming for the gods so again like i said these work very well together and this, this treatment all on its own, I will probably do a full dedicated video to this as well on another day. I could talk about this for hours, but these two together, game over. And lastly, we have Fluid VIP 2 This layers on top of this beautifully. The Fluid VIP 2 is an antioxidant oxygenating anti-pollution serum so honestly these two together great they have very similar functions they're both very antioxidant rich anti-pollution treatment calming whatever you want it to be um and the vipo2 line is beautiful it's just hydrating it's fresh it's it's just everything like it makes your skin really glowy and and bouncy and that's what this does too so what i do is i'll put this on wait a second or two for it to soak in and then i take a couple of drops of this to the tips of my fingers and I just tap it all over. I don't like putting it in my palms and rubbing it and doing that. It just doesn't work for me. I like to tap it into the skin. So another expensive but very great cocktail. So ultimately, obviously, I'm a fan of this. I think it's great. I think you need it. I think if you're oily and you're acne prone and you're sensitive and you want to be able to have something in your skincare arsenal that's going to calm your skin down whenever it's just freaking out, this is going to be great for you. If you're unsure about the SR versus just the original gel, consult your esthetician, your Biologique Recherche esthetician, but I feel like the SR is better for the oily skin types. I have tried a sample of the other formula. It was good. Good, but I knew that this would be better for me. Uh, if you have skin, any anything like mine, you're gonna love this. Trust me, trust and believe. This is so good. I wish that I had picked this up three years ago when the girls at Tosca told me to buy it. So anyway, if you're gonna go pick it up later, add it to your cart, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and blah, blah, blah. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.